Hey, 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 see you again with me, Nabil. Uh, and Simon. And Simon. Today I have a uh, guest. He's Finnish guy, but Finnish Swedish, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Finland Svensk. Finland Svensk, yeah. Yes. Because uh, in Finland we have also like about 17% population, Swedish speaking. Mm. Yeah. Yes, so that's more than I knew. That's very good. <laughs> yes, we are a ma- minority here. Minority. Swedish people yeah. since history when we were a part of Sweden, but that's another program. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but like uh, in Finland, uh, we have like two, what is it? National language. Yeah. Mm. Two national languages Finnish or Swedish. Yeah. yeah. But of course, I don't speak Swedish at all. And today we can communicate in English. <laughs> Yeah, and everyone could understand. <laughs> That's true. At least everyone who knows English. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Simon is my good friend. Uh, yeah. He's working like an actor in Svenska Theater, like Swedish theater. That's yeah. true. Mm. Svenska Theater here in Helsinki. In Helsinki. For how long you been working there? I've been there for eight years now. Eight years, okay. Yeah, yeah. and I have been an, I have been actors uh, for eleven years. Okay, and and um, so I've been working there and at small t- theater here in Helsinki, Virus in Turku at the Obo Svenska Teater okay. and in Vasa at Vasa Teater before, but now eight years at Svenska Teater. Okay, yeah. Before I became an actor, I was a nurse. Yeah. Working with elderly people. Oh, elderly people. Yeah. Lähihoitajia. Uh, Lähihoitajia, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. And in Finland, like, like example, me in Finland, if you want to change your career, there is not any like, oh, you're too late, you're too old to change your career. Like example, I was masur, then after that I went to be hairdresser. Then I just go to the school, play for that school. When I get it, when I get it, and I start to go to school after I graduate, I work as hairdresser and master. Now nobody I have to job, but like in Indonesia, it's different. Yeah. Like example, if you want to work something, they have like limited age experience. How you have to look uh-huh. something like that. Yeah. Sometimes it's not fair. <laughs> yeah, but in Europe it's not like that. Yeah, no. especially in Finland. I haven't been, been thinking about it because I haven't lived any else yeah. than here. So mm. I think there are many things here in Finland that you can see, that you see that okay. has grown up in Indonesia. Mm-hmm. Uh, those um, positive, uh, many positive things here in Finland. Yeah, I guess you true. can see them more clearly than. Yeah, me. because I have experience to live there. Yeah. And now that I live here already 11 years, that's why I can compare. Mm. So you've been here for 11 years? 11 years, since 2010. That's the oh. year I graduated <laughs> from yeah. theater school. <laughs> and I seen your, uh, what is it, documentation yeah. about when you have like interview in Ule. Ule? Yeah. If it too, or? Yeah, excuse me. Ule. Yeah, it was at Ule Arena. Ule Arena, okay, mm. yeah. You mean the yeah. Himla leave? Yeah. You mean yeah. your interview yeah. about your experience to be gay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But it's very nice uh, program, and I really like it. <laughs> you can recommend it for yeah. the viewers. Yeah. To that's put true. a link there if you they would like to see it. Yeah, I can put the link. It's in English, also subtitles. Yeah, they have subtitles in English and Finnish, and, and I Swedish, speak Swedish. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, it's eleven years. The same year as you came to Finland, mm. I, I was I participated in that documentary at at Ule. Yeah, it was a big, very big, um, uh, how to say, step for me. Okay. Yeah. To because I was a, I was Christian those times. I'm now more an uh, spiritual agnostic person. What is that spiritual spiritual agnostic? I say that uh, I don't really know what I believe, but mm-hmm. I think there is something more than only one religion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Religion. I think religion are like 
human beings way to try to understand the bigger power if you say like that for it we can call it god yeah or yahweh or allah or uh, yeah, yeah it has many names many names true yeah so uh but, so i i i'm interested in different religions and and but i think of these things a lot in my life what is there something more or okay what is it true yeah but i was uh, um as i mentioned i was a uh, christian yeah and it was very hard for me to combine that the fact that i'm um, that i'm gay or homosexual yeah. or gay and i couldn't understand myself and i was thinking those times that uh, god will cure me yeah that i am sick yeah that i need to be cured That's so true. for 15 years i was like uh, for or i understood that i'm homosexual when i was around 12 when uh-huh. you're in puberty yeah as for heterosexual too you start to develop your sexuality then or like not develop but you attract to yeah. same sex or different yeah for depending us, on yeah, that's yeah. true same depending, like me yeah <laughs> as for you yeah, yeah same like me it's depending on what you are born as yeah that's true but i didn't think that i was um, that it was normal and i think I thought that i should be cured so i was for many many years for over 15 years praying to god every day please please make me straight and uh, and not living with any man or any woman either mm-hmm. i was living all the time in by myself and in celibacy you can say okay <clears throat> because I thought that I would be then cured. Yeah. Of course I wasn't cured. Yeah. Nowadays I understand these things um uh, uh but I it, it took me I was 28 28 years old when I came out of the closet. Ah, 28 is yeah. quite late. <laughs> yeah, that's quite late. Quite late. Yeah. yeah. I look at I looked at um, it, there is a very nice tv program called it, it, it's called um, scum and um, mm. about young people yeah i watch also scum yeah it's nice yeah, yes. it's very nice and there is also uh, norwegian. norwegian norwegian yeah, yeah. Mm. but it's in many countries now i look at the french um, very uh, there is also from france scum mm-hmm. from france yeah. And there is now about uh, two young boys who are gays and find each other and accept they are uh, be, being accepted by their their um, their friends and everything. Okay. I cry so much when I see it. Yeah, because I then you have same experience. <laughs> yeah, I have the same and experience. And we wish to be like them, maybe. Yeah. We wish to be like them. Yeah. That we, when Except we was it, yeah. seventeen years old, we yeah. could do like that. Yeah, that's true. It wasn't possible. So that's why I'm crying. Uh, and it's okay to cry. We need to cry too. Yeah, we, it's very healthy. Yeah, it's laughing healthy. and crying. We need to show our feeling. Yeah. yeah. So, but it, it was when I was in the theater school. Okay. I came out of the closet. Oh, oh okay. It was so wonderful with those there at the theater school okay i could understand that i'm accepted as i am that's great there yeah. they, at the theater school nobody was like oh you're gay oh okay yeah. that's so oh my god my god. god or something oh, sick. Oh, yeah. oh you have to uh, <laughs> yeah or they teasing us yeah nothing like that and not even also oh it's so exotic oh very nice you're gay nothing like that it was Oh, you're gay. It's okay. Completely normal. It's normal, like it's normal. Us, yeah, that's true. That's why I don't like when, because like in Indonesia, even gay people call themselves sick if they say if they want to call another people. Is he sick also like me, or is he sick also like us? I said, like, why we have to call ourselves sick? We are not sick. No. We are normal people. Absolutely. Yeah, we have. Uh, we can have like normal life. We can have partner. We yeah. we have everything. It's it's same like yeah. straight like hetero straight. Yeah. yeah, 
but just different thing than them we are gay we like same sex yeah something like that yeah that is that is a very very good conclusion i must yeah. say because i meet a lot of people everywhere and i'm speaking about these things in television newspaper yeah. radio and everything i'm very happy about that that I, i'm completely open now and understand these things but i sometimes also meet people who have these old opinions that okay so you're gay but there is it's not normal yeah. it's something you can do about it that's completely rubbish and i get so angry about it and i need to like because it's very important today that we have information about these things mm -hmm. because <laughs> to be gay or like hetero or, or homosexual it's not only human beings yeah. there are also among animals yeah. and plants and it's a completely normal thing it's not it's more heterosexuals Mm -hmm. That is, it's more. But there is a minority of homosexual that if we are born like this, it's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. I say that who would choose when yeah. the world looks like this to become gay? I don't. I also don't want to born to be gay. I always ask to myself why I'm not like uh, another of my sibling, like my brother, my sister, they're yeah. straight. Why I was born like this? Since I remember, since I was a kid, I feel like I'm different than another my sibling. Yeah. Like, I never have like attrac attraction to girl. No. It's always I like my since I was a kid. So it was, it was it was not my fault. I cannot blame God. Like I cannot blame my family because my family raised me like uh, in the wrong way. No, my parents raise me same like they raise another of my brothers, sibling yeah. yeah why didn't your brothers become the game yeah because why only me yeah it's it's like very yeah. interesting i was born like this since i remember that's why when i moved to finland i was so surprised because like i can be like who i am like yeah. i don't need to pretend anymore when i was in indonesia i need to pretend i'm straight yeah. i mean like i cannot tell to anyone if i'm gay because it will be like dangerous or embarrassing or I can embarrass my family or my friend maybe doesn't want to be friend with me anymore. But when I move here, I step by step, I try to open myself and after that, when I open myself and accept myself more, yeah. I feel more happy nowadays. Therefore, when I go back to Indonesia, three weeks, I have to pretend again and when I meet friends, they ask why you're not married yet. I, I have to say like, ah, oh, maybe later, not yet find the right girl. Oh, I'm no. tired of that. Yes. Just want to be myself. Why people can just accept it? We always, I mean like gay, LGBT people is always here since a yeah. long time ago. I guess since yeah. since you humanity yeah, started humanity to walk stuff. on two legs, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe before that too. That's true. Uh, because and and uh, it I, you ask why can't you be open or if you like you said yeah. that and why is it like this? So, I guess that the answer of that question is that uh, people don't know. People don't understand how this works yeah. because we have so, for so many years been yeah. thinking that to be gay is a crime, to be gay is something you can be um, cured for, from. Yeah, because they, yeah. Teach, uh, because they teach to the people who is living in Indonesia if gay is sickness, if you, you can get cured and you can be straight and everything like that, but it's not true. It, it is not true. this way. It is not true, yeah. and it's a very serious question because I, I personally know people who has trying for many many years trying to be cured mm -hmm. by getting married, for example, men getting married to a woman, yeah. getting children. Uh, I know one who even uh, was eating hormones to men hormone, men hormone like, yeah. to become straight, and yeah. everything. 
collapse in the end everything collapse and they lie down and are completely devastated ah. and some people like you know some people are so near to kill themselves because yeah. they are gay yeah. and it's crazy some people do kill themselves yeah many because they are gay something it's the same thing as you would try to kill yourself for having brown eyes or blue eyes yeah, something completely true. normal that's true so it's a very serious question that we really need to so i'm very happy to be here to speak with you thank you very much talk about that <laughs> yeah and that it can come out to internet and everywhere because yeah. we need to have information medical science today yeah science today shows completely clear that gay you can do anything about you are born as homo hetero or bisexual it's normal it's normal true there's nothing yeah. you can do about it and that's but and and the as 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 i see it like the problem in the world today is not that there are people born gay straight or bisexual that's not a problem because mm. that's normal you could even if you believe or believe in something from about god you could say god has created it like this mm. it's not the problem the problem is how the world look upon people mm. yes. and discriminating each other. yeah how could we like, that we discriminate people for things that we are born as it's completely how to say uh, something completely wrong yeah and not true. fair not fair yeah like like example someone doesn't like black people because they they was born to be black yeah they don't want to they cannot choose themselves to be white brown or black mm. we just born that way yeah same like me i don't want to be gay i was born this way I was thinking the same way as yeah. you for many many years I was thinking that oh my life is so good but why should I be gay why yeah. do I have this burden on me yeah nowadays I don't think that anymore because now I understand it's completely ridiculous to think that because there is nothing you can do about yeah, it yeah that's true I'm born like this and I'm happy with this yeah. thank you if there is some god thank you god for making me gay yeah. because that's how I should be yeah. and you should be like that yeah. and you should be and you and you and you yeah and that's hetero true. people are also welcome very good people yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we can be straight by gay everything everyone have different journey like to accept themselves Yeah. Like example me, it's take time for me because I was born in Indonesia and yeah. raised from a family who is like quite strong value and Muslim also. Yeah. In my religion, gay is like really sin. It was we cannot, yeah, we cannot be gay. But like I cannot accept myself to be straight. I tried many times. I tried many times even I had sex with female but oh. I couldn't hurt at all. Mm. How can I marry with female if I cannot make my wife happy in the bed? In the bed and oh, I have to pretend every day to be straight guy, marry with female but I suffer a lot. Mm. That's why I said uh, to myself I don't want to lie to me and to someone like if i marry with female i lie with my wife mm -hmm. i have to make her happy not just uh, use her to cover my big secret as a gay it's not fair for her life the woman who have to marry with me she deserve to be happy with someone who is really love her mm -hmm. and really serious with her yeah not like me i don't want to be i mean like i don't want to pretend marry with female to make everyone happy but i'm not happy like my family happy to see oh finally he's married and he's not gay he's not sick anymore but i'm still gay i yeah. will never change until i die i still i i will be gay i'm sure that yeah i will never change And that's true. Yeah. 
And I think your um, thoughts and what you are saying is very important yeah. because this is how it very often goes also uh, that for many years people have and still doing, they pretend to be hetero yeah. and betraying their partner like that. Yeah. Pretending and it's very, it's, it's very important to say these things mm -hmm. because it has to stop. It should. It has to it, stop. It, yeah. has to stop. it should. It, it can't uh, continue like this anymore. Mm. And gay. If we are gay pe people, we are completely normal people yeah, with the true. same needs as heterosexual. That's true. We, we need love. love. Yeah. We we need work. We, we need, need everything. We need sex. Yeah. We need uh, compassion and to be near with somebody else. Uh, and we are completely normal stuff. Yeah, that's true. For everyone, and and um, so it's it's. Sometimes I see, and I like, for example, I look at your mm. this blog. Yeah. Very nice clips, and okay. it's very nice things. Okay. There are like, and it's sometimes I feel it's a little bit like ba ba ba. Yeah, <laughs> it's gay life. <laughs> that is very good. <laughs> That is very good because this is that it should not be only gay life. It should be also for hetero people, yeah. bisexual people. Mm. Everybody can be hetero. gay life. Yeah. And in if you go into the to the bottom of everything, yeah. you find the seed. The seed is we are all human beings with the same needs. Yes. So maybe everybody. So that's why I'm also very happy. To participate in this thing, yeah. this thing that we do now, to say also uh, things that can be sometimes hard to say. Yeah, that's and, true. And from the heart. Yeah, because that's, that's also important. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes also we have to remind ourselves about like, like example like me. I have to remind myself when I have like sometimes we are in the low situation like I'm so sad yeah, because something life. happened like Corona or something like that but still I remember the positive thing nowadays I live in Finland in free country I can be like who I am mm -hmm. I can do like what I want to do like mm -hmm. I don't have any limit because I'm gay mm -hmm. then that small thing like that make me happy again make me more positive again very nice. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, I was thanks to God because I have experience to see the world from another side. That's if true. I'm still in Indonesia, my mind is still like Indonesian. Yeah. Mindy. But because I moved to Finland, I see the world from Finland. I've been traveling to many European countries and I can see like if gay people are normal here. We are normal, we are not sick people. Yeah. More and more. Yeah, more and more. They have like gay pride. It's in, in Indonesia it's impossible to have gay pride. They will kill us. <laughs> they yeah, have gay pride. You, that's, I and many straight people also they support us. They treat us like normal. They are really like friendly with us. Yes, mm. like uh, mostly mm. there That's are right. things. Not still all, here. not all. Still, like, but it's some very... people doesn't like it, but yeah. mostly they like it. Yeah, and I and and um, unfortunately, as I see it, this is only my opinion. I don't, can, I can't speak for everyone in Finland, but my opinion is that sometimes I see that uh, if it's very uh, old, uh, like religious um, thoughts mm -hmm. like they uh, can they can sometimes be really hard and looking down uh, yeah. uh, on, on uh, homosexual because they're not people. so open-minded yeah and they don't understand because but it's the same thing they don't understand how it yeah. works yeah. but I must say for example the Christian church in Finland also is changing yeah because they understand that there is nothing you can do about it People are born like gay, yeah. and also they, they are, cannot cure it. <laughs> they cannot cure it. There is, it's, it's, it's not true, and it's also with other religions. It can be Muslim, Christian, Hindu, Buddha, Buddhism, Jewish. 
there are different books we read, very, yeah. very interesting books, I yeah. think, also. And they say this or that about homosexuality and things. That's one question. But, but, but the question, the big question is, even though it says something in a book or something, we are still born like this. Yeah. I have had myself all these questions. I understand them completely. Why are we born like gay if it wouldn't be um, like, um, how to say, something that God doesn't yeah. want? Why are we just born like to be straight? Why are we, we still born to be gay? Mm. Why? That's my big question. I don't want to be gay. If I can choose, I want to be like straight. Those times, yeah. or would you change now too? No. No, because now... I mean like, I don't know, maybe God have the reason to create gay people. Yeah. If we believe in a God, I, th I surely mm. think that if there is an almighty God, as mm. many religions speak about, that God could change it like this. Mm. Everyone is not gay. Yeah, everyone's but straight. But it's not like that. Yeah. People are praying, people are praying for other people, people are eating hormones, people yeah, are doing everything to become that's hetero, true. nothing is happening. Yeah, that's true. How is it? I, I must say, this is how I um, was thinking then when I came out from the closet, and before I came out from the closet and I was a Christian, I was thinking one thing is there is no God or the other thing is God is and God wants me to be like this. Mm. Those times I choose the second thing. God is and God wants me to be like this. We need to find peace of mind in our life. That's true. And we have to accept reality. There was for a long time people was also hiding people that was born with some dysfunction for, or handicap or yeah, something, they were hiding them. It was a sin. Yeah. It was not good. It's ridiculous today. It was today. not normal. It yeah. was not normal. Yeah. Today, we would never, at least in Finland, that is very uncommon. I don't think I have heard any of those stories now for the last uh, um, 50, 60, 70 years. Mm -hmm. But before that, yeah. it happened. Okay. Yeah, people they didn't want to show them uh, their ch child if it was uh, handicapped or something. Yeah, Today, that's true. We show them because they are normal. They are normal, yeah. They, they cannot also. choose to born like that, same like gay people. Yeah. yeah. I also thought to my mom, like, gay people, it's like, uh, what is it, handicapped people. Mm. We was born like that, mm. we cannot change it. Just in the different thing, like straight people, they was they like like men like they love to female, female love to male, but gay people male love to male. the same sex. Yeah, female love to female. Actually, it's, it's, actually, it's very simple. Yeah, everything with human being, hetero, bisexual, and homo, like. Everything is the same, yeah, except that same. I'm attracted to somebody with my of my own um, sex, gender. Gender, yeah, that's true. Otherwise, it's it's the same thing, and not the same because people are so different. <laughs> there are similarities. It's not. I don't remember the word, but there are differences between between people. But that doesn't have to do anything with uh, being straight or gay. That has to do with personality, this I guess. Yeah. Can I ask you? Yeah. When you was a uh, young, young uh, or puberty ages and you find out that you you've understood that you were gay, mm -hmm. how old were you and what was your thoughts about it? I was around 10. Yeah, because I always like to someone my gender. Yeah, yeah. I always like men. Yeah. Sometimes I hide when someone takes shower. Yeah. <laughs> men take shower. I hide from the what is it? Uh, attic. What is it? What? Yeah, yeah. From yeah. the from the roof. From the, the roof. roof yeah. Yes, yes. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was not the boy. That yeah, time. that's fine. <laughs> Completely normal. Yeah. Boys and girls do that to each other too. Yeah, that's true. Want to, oh, I feel attracted to that person. I feel attracted to that yeah. person. Yeah. 
always like that. And how did you, when you understood it, that I think I'm gay, how was it for you? Mm. Uh, for us, I cannot accept it because like I was in the hard situation. <laughs> My parents was divorced and I was living with some time house. Or like one year or two years with my father. Yeah. After that, move again with my mom. Yeah. And I always moving to a different city. It's make me so stressed. Yeah. And I have hard life that time. And I try twice to kill myself because I thought I am so bad person. I will go to the hell because I'm gay and everything like that. And but I'm still alive. God so, helped me. Yeah, God helped you. Yeah to survive. And when I was 19, I started to meet like uh, outside gay people. Very nice. Yeah, and I started using fake name because I don't want someone to uh, know okay. my real name and find my family and tell to my family if I'm gay. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was 20, I met someone. Uh, his name is Nabil Amar. He's mm -hmm. not gay, but he's a very attractive person. And after he left, because he doesn't live in the same city, I only met him a few times yeah. as friend. Nothing happened. And I started using his name, Nabil Amarai. Ah, <laughs> oh, I understand. Nabil Amarai is like my gay name. Uh -huh. <laughs> my real name is not that. <laughs> ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. But we have been friends for some months. So I did not know you yeah. so good with yeah. yeah. But now I'm right. interesting stuff. Yeah, because like uh, in my city, yeah, in my country, yeah. gay people, it's normal to use our fake name. Aha, I see. To cover our our identity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. That's why Nabil Amarim is not my born name. No, it's your. But all my friends, they know my my real name is not that, but they still call me Nabil Amarim. Ah. Because like, I like to use that. Yeah. I feel more comfortable to use Nabil yeah. than my real name. My real, na real name is Romzi. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Well, sometime when I go back to Indonesia and my family call me my real name, yeah. Romzi Romzi, I didn't notice that anymore. Ah. So I don't get used about that name anymore. Mm. <laughs> After many, many years, yeah. <laughs> I use Nabil Amar. Then. Very good. <laughs> I will come, um, <laughs> call you Nabil. Yeah. Then. <laughs> Nabil is like, yeah. I like when people call me Nabil. Yeah. yeah. I feel more comfortable. <laughs> it is. Um, that's the story of my name. <laughs> that's the story of your name. And, and also, it's. But uh, in my ID, still my name is like my born name. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Simon. Simon. Heger. Yeah. But For my, you, you don't need to hide no. your. <laughs> Status to be gay here in Finland, mostly gay people in Finland, they don't change their name. It's so interesting, when I came out from mm -hmm. the closet, I live, I was, uh, afterwards I understand. Okay. It's so uh, waste of many, many years. That's true, yeah, same like me. Yeah, that I should so have years. come out when I was 12. It would, should, must be like that. Society, we <laughs> must change it, that we can be... Yeah. When we start to feel our sexuality, it's completely normal. Yeah. And you can come out. Because when I came out, many of my friends said to me, Oh, Simon. I remember one friend, he said to me, Oh, Simon, there are so many pieces, pieces are going to the right places mm. now. Mm. I understand. True. And that was very, very, very helpful for me and everyone or I would say 95% of friends and people I know and family and everything everybody has been I'm happy for you very nice that you are the one who you are because yeah. also I work as an actor and I think that if I'm not if I speak about my 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 work if I would not be honest with my sexuality, for example, or other things. I'm not so good actor because you can see that there is something. What is that? 
with somebody who is lying all the time. Yeah, that's true. I think that I became became much better actor when I came out also. Yeah. It was on the second grade in the theater school that I was in for five years. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Still, life is not always simple and, oh, yeah. everything is so nice now. Everything is so beautiful Yeah, now. it's not like It's that. always a problem also yeah. in life, but that's part For of everyone. life. Part yeah. of life. <laughs> For hetero, homo, yeah. bi and trans and everyone, yeah. we have problems in our life. But at least we don't have that burden that we are lying about. We are lying ourselves. about our sexuality, yeah. Nobody should do that's that. That's true. After I accept myself, uh, I mean, like when I already moved here and mm -hmm. I accept myself more and more, every time I accept myself more and more and my, what is it, thinking of mine, mm -hmm. I I feel like i more open-minded than before mm -hmm. when I was living in Indonesia because Indonesia society like force us not to be open, mm -hmm. it will be dangerous to be open. Indonesia. It's sad. Yeah, it's so sad. But in Finland, I can be like who I am. Yeah. That's why I changed my citizenship to be Finnish yeah, because I feel like I will live here in Europe forever. Yeah. Yes, because of course. In Europe, it's better place for for you, person like me. Yeah. 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 Of course, you would. Um, it's impossible. Uh, who want to live in a place that you are uh, threatened to be killed? I don't think so many people yeah. would live in that mm -hmm. station, like, like, like that place. So I'm very happy that you live here. And I really, really hope that situation in Indonesia and other countries yeah, also will so. change. So, and why? Ca how can we change it? By information yeah. and Telling the truth. Telling the truth. That's why I want to have interview with you. Because I want to show the LGBT community in Indonesia or straight people even mm. in Indonesia. If in Europe we are normal. In Europe we like we 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 accept it, yeah? Yes, I because think Indonesia, that. like example, if gay people do something criminal, like they kill someone, mm. always they say, "Oh, gay people are so sick, yeah. they are so dangerous. If you are gay, you will be criminal, or you will do like mm. uh, serial criminal, serial killer, mm. or something like that." Because that's happened sometimes. Gay people kill someone or rape someone, then it's gonna in the news they blow up that. That they are gay. Yeah, they are gay because they are gay. They do such a bad thing. But when straight people do that, people not judge it so much. It's Sometimes interesting. It's not fair. Yeah. It's not fair, and it's, it's interesting fair. because this is how it was here in this country, for mm. example, for in the fifties, mm. and also in in Europe and the whole Nordic countries. Okay. It, this is exactly how it was. Okay. So it has changed. And it, and um, I guess it will change also Indonesia and other places, but it takes time. And I really would hope that, for example, uh, Indonesia is mostly Muslim. Muslim is it yeah. So yeah. But we have also Christian and Hindu also. Yeah. yeah. But mostly are Muslim. And it's a big part of the culture in Indonesia, isn't yeah. it? So I really would hope that, that uh, for example, imams or um, gurus uh, and, and different um, um, that, like higher b bishops and everyone, yeah. that they would, would uh, investigate this phenomenon, homosexuality, and understand how it works so they could speak, we understand, and they could maybe have people to understand yeah. it then. I'm very happy, for example, the Dalai Lama, he's also speaking a lot of very good things about gay people. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah. And uh, I have seen that in, in some interviews. And also His Holiness the Pope. Yeah. He's also understanding and not, it's not only like, oh, they are so nice, they speak good things about homosexuals. It's not if they speak good things, it's about they speak uh, the truth. Yeah, they are uh, they are connected to uh, not delusions anymore. Mm -hmm. They are connected and understand 
that this is the truth and this is scientific results if you say it like that. Yeah, that's true. Okay, thank you very much thank <laughs> to you. share your experience. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here and thank you for... I wish the... your experience and uh, your opinion about LGBT life in Finland and your experience also will help people in Indonesia or I in other so. places. I hope so too and open their mind <laughs> yeah yeah i hope so too and yeah. uh, let's continue the discussions and to understand reality the truth okay yeah. that's true okay thank you very much guys thank see you. you again see bye you. ciao